-hmm. All right, let's check in with the meteorologist Quayla Murphy because our circumstances have changed in terms of severe weather. Well, that's right. We have an update now with an upgrade to our severe weather threat for later on this evening. Now a level three threat north of Raleigh today. Durham included Roxborough, Mecklenburg County, Virginia, all the way to Rocky Mount and Roanoke Rapids. So that level three risk is for a higher threat for damaging winds and some hail potential. Still looking at a level two risk for the south. So basically that means have a way to receive watches and warnings. I expect more of this storm action to come into play later on into the evening hours. So towards five, six o'clock, continuing through seven o'clock, we'll still have some storms around, I think, up until around 10, and then things will start to settle down during the overnight hours. Heat advisory in play right now, though, until eight o'clock for the Sand Hills. Those feels like temperatures into the triple digits. We're looking at actual temperatures in the 90s for a lot of locations, including Durham and Raleigh, 92 in Burlington. We flip over to the feels like temperatures, factoring the heat and the humidity. We're already in the triple digits. Roanoke Rapids up to 105, 103 in Southern Pines, 101 that current feel in Durham. We are dry right now and mainly cloud free. Lots of blue sky out there, but we're tracking this complex of storms driving down quickly to the south and east. So impacts right now through the Ohio Valley with storm warnings here already severe storm potential and that will continue our way. So looking at the next few hours, we'll see storm action beginning to uh, really get itself together towards 530 and 6 o'clock with that line towards 7 and 8 o'clock this evening. I think that line pushes south and east by 10 as the cold front is moving through overnight. Can't rule out a few spotty showers and storms overnight, but for the most part, we're heading to a really nice day on Saturday by Saturday morning that fronts offshore and our skies will have cleared out sunshine back and I think all more importantly will be the low humidity and the lower heat as well. Highs today in the 90s close to 100 degrees wouldn't be surprised to get to 100 around Fayetteville and Lumberton tonight. The humidity values start to drop and temperatures as well. 66 in Roxborough, 69 Sanford, 71 in Raleigh, so we'll be about four degrees above average, 74 degrees in Fayetteville. A hot day at the beach on Saturday, upper 80s, low 90s, but once that front comes through, you see the difference on temperatures, low 80s, dry conditions at the beach, dry for the mountains as well. And we're seeing some wet conditions down around Honduras today with uh, that disturbance that has a low chance to develop because it's interacting with land. Blas is in the eastern Pacific, no other concerns as far as uh, the Americas are concerned for that system. Here's a look at your first alert seven day forecast powered by AccuWeather. Take in the weekend feels. Sunday morning will be starting in the upper 50s, low 80s Sunday afternoon, even some upper six uh, upper 70s north of the triangle on Sunday afternoon. Monday will start in the 50s, high temperatures in the 80s. Summer arrives Tuesday and the temperatures flex again. 99 degrees Wednesday feels like temperatures in the triple digits. Our next chance for storms next Thursday. Back with more after the break.